The environment cannot continue to be the nebulous thing that we take for granted. There is an undeniable correlation between its abuse and the effect on all living things. Enter UNIDO with interventions targeting depletion of the ozone layer, pollution of the environment and waste management. Environment is one of the key thematic areas of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization. And UNIDO in over 30 years of working in Nigeria has been able to promote green industries through the following areas. One is um, implementation of multilateral environment agreements like the Minamata Convention on Mercury, the Stockholm Convention on Pops, the Basel Convention on Transboundary Movement of Hazardous Waste, and the Montreal Protocol on Protection of the Ozone Layer. We've also worked in areas of resource management and cleaner productions, um, in the areas of policy development and policy dialogue, waste management, and transfers of technology. The leader came here to teach us what it is to now use the ozone friendly from the ozone unfriendly gases, training us to do safe handling in the use of the new gas because it is flammable. This machine is very, very good and it makes our work faster. Before we are micro businesses, but with the arrival of the low prior for machine, at least it has upgraded our business from, my, from being micro to small medium enterprise. You need to, you know, they've helped us tremendously, you know, in terms of complying, you know, with the face out of those substances in that ice making machine sector. Nigeria's inclusion on the list of countries that have contributed to making the Montreal Protocol the United Nations' most successful international agreement is one of UNIDO's significant achievements. UNIDO has been a, a great partner, as I say, a catalyst supporting government in implementing the uh, multilateral environmental agreements on chemicals and waste. And that, of course, has impacted on the state of the environment in Nigeria, increasing uh, consciousness about the harmful effect of uh, unsound chemical and waste management, and assisting government to put in place mechanisms and policies to ensure they are properly managed to protect human health and the environment. Set up in 2011, the GRC lab is living up to its billing. The GRC lab is a center of excellence that is highly computerized with the latest high-tech uh, analytical equipment. As of today, it's carrying out soil characterization for, to look at for pollutants in soil, not only on persistent organic pollutants, hydrocarbons, persistent toxic substances, and other chemicals like heavy metals. The lab, as much as possible, is also training people, companies, corporate organizations, on how to manage their uh, waste, their industries, such that they have a cleaner production, produce less waste, and the waste can be converted into you know, um, environment-friendly waste that can, the environment can easily absorb. Its facilities are available for capacity building and research to its host community, the University of Ibadan. The lab has really empowered me because more than certificate, you need the, the experience, the expertise. And with the lab, my expertise, my knowledge, and analysis of pops has really increased. Apart from lead poisoning in mining communities, there is the issue of pollution from the activities of oil exploration in the Niger Delta. The day after you clean up, how do you stay clean? What incentives do you put in place to do that? Um, and so together with UNIDO, we hope that we will be able to get their expertise to help us look at industrial parks, to look at the kind of employment that we could put um, from the possibilities of the economies. The minister is determined to deliver a comprehensive waste policy to Nigerians. The, currently, the Ministry of Environment is reviewing its own national policy on environment, and that's, that's key to setting the agenda. Uh, but from that, to really look at the waste management policy, how do we help sectors and states and local governments all become more coordinated, collaborative and coherent uh, with what we do. And this is where UNIDO comes in, the expertise that they have um, to first of all share and give us the technical assistance that we need to develop that framework, 
but the experiences that they have across developing countries and developed countries to make sure that we can leapfrog some of the, um, the lessons learned in other countries to make sure that we've got a state-of-the-art policy. As Nigeria joins the world to celebrate UNIDO at 50, its people and government will continue the march to create a sustainable environment for industrial growth.